Good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney. I'm Jenna. We're excited to have you guys here today. This is going to be part one of a two-part series. And so today, specifically, we're going to be talking about the fall spirit wear trends. This is an episode that we do every year. It's one of our favorites. Um, as soon as July hits and the fall season is approaching and spirit wear and sports wear really starts to become one of the more popular um, items being decorated, we take the time to talk with blank apparel decorators, do some research, and then bring to you guys the top trends of 2017. And so Jenna did a live class um, two weeks ago, and we have that available on StallsTV.com that shows you how to recreate a ton of these looks. But we really wanted to dial in on the blank styles in today's episode that are popular for this fall. So we'll do that today, and then in two weeks we're going to come back for part two, and we'll share some of those design trends. So we're excited to get started for sure. Absolutely. Well, before we get started on all that, we want to show you this week's look of the week. Uh, this was presented by Travis on our Facebook page, Stalls All Things Heat Printing. And I really like this look because he incorporated two different types of decoration, uh, which is screen print and then also fashion film. Yeah, I love the creativity in this. So the idea of this is that he had screen printed shirts for the Vacation Bible School and then allowed kids to pick their blank t-shirt and customize it with the red cat gut fashion film that you're seeing. So some had bows in different places, some had lips, um, just different ways to customize it. This is a really fun idea if you have a heat press to take to events like this or even offer it like at a birthday party as an activity. I just think it's a really cool idea to offer that customization. You could even do that one color screen print background using a screen printed transfer um, and allow the kids to color in, use mm -hmm. fabric paint that they would normally use on these kind of shirts at a camp. So really great idea for Travis. We appreciate him sharing those images with us on Facebook. Absolutely. And if you want to share any of the looks that you're creating at your home or even a craft shop or home business, you can uh, email those to tv at stalls.com. Share with us, like Travis did on our Facebook, All Things Heat Printing group, and then, or not group, but page, and then, of course, on our Instagram, and that channel is TV, or at Stalls TV. Great. So, um, that's look of the week. We're excited to see some of the things you guys can share with us there. Next, we're going to talk about Make It Monday, so I think you're going to give us a little taste of what we'll see with the design trends in a couple of weeks, so you want to head over to the heat press? Absolutely. Thank you for joining me for this week's Make It Monday. As Courtney mentioned, we're going to be going over one of the popular spirit wear or fall trend that we're seeing in design. So that is a split text effect. So if you joined me in the live class from a couple weeks ago where we applied this, I'm going to be reapplying it because it was a huge hit with some of the people that joined me there. Uh, so we're going to go over that. And I have uh, the air, f the f Hotronics Fusion that I'm going to be working with today. I have the 11 by 15 loaded on here. I'm going to be working with a lady style um, color block hoodie by Cavio. So I wanted to do the 11 by 15 so I can get this slim fit hoodie on there without uh, it stretching the garment too much. So of course I want to make sure my collar is off of that platen. And I'm just going to do a quick preheat and test my pressure and whatnot. All right, so I have my temperature at 300 degrees since I'm going to be applying adhesive today and foil. So the first uh, application that we're going to do is our fashion film. So I went along with the color block effect in the garment to uh, decide what... Um, color I wanted to do in my design. So I'm doing red and then we're going to be incorporating some foil. So this is the diagonal split text effect that we're going to be applying. Um, this is going to apply for just a three to five second tack. So fashion film uh, has an adhesive on it that we can just tack real quick so we don't risk the chance of it shrinking underneath that high heat. So it'll make our registration for our adhesive to lay in there nice and easy. All right, so we didn't have enough pressure there, so what I'm going to do is just lay this back down and reheat apply that and increase my pressure. So I want my pressure to read at about a medium whenever I'm applying fashion film. So that's going to be anywhere between three and five. All right, so just by laying that back down and doing a quick tack, 
that'll put that right back in place for me. All right, so I can go in with my adhesive. Adhesive applies for five seconds at 300 degrees, and this is gonna be at a light pressure. So you can see, since I did a quick tack with my fashion film, I'm going to have a nice and easy registration here. All right, so make sure that we're at a nice light pressure. So I'm just gonna turn my knob twice there and adjust my time. I wanna be on five seconds for this application. And for a light pressure, if you're using a Hotronics, that's gonna be anywhere between a one and a three. Adhesive is a hot peel, so I can go ahead and peel my carrier back. And then I'm just gonna lay my foil right over top of that strip of adhesive and apply that for its recommended application. So foil will actually be applied at a firm pressure, so I'm gonna turn my knob twice again, and then it's going to apply anywhere from eight to 10 seconds. So I'm gonna adjust my time there to eight seconds. And a heavy pressure will read anywhere between six and nine. Right. And my foil is a cold peel, so I'm gonna just remove this from that hot platen just to speed up the cool down process. Place it on a cold surface to release some of that heat in the fabric. And then I can go ahead and peel back my foil for its finished look. Right, so that completes uh, our Make It Monday. We'll go ahead and head back to the table and join Courtney for the rest of the morning show. Thanks, Jenna. That was actually one of the most popular looks, I think, from the fall spirit work class that you had just given. It was, yeah. A lot of people were requesting to see the artwork. So uh, we are going to be showing the artwork in part two of the morning show, which won't happen next week, but the week after. So be sure if you uh, didn't get a chance to see that online, we will be showing it there. Yeah, I'm excited to show some of those trends, kind of the split text and yeah. all of that. So we'll do that here in two weeks here live on the morning show. Um, but before we do that, we're going to dive into blank styles because you got to start with a blank before you can go into design trends. Right. And I think the blank garment speaks a lot to the design. So it helps to um, get you creative and thinking about what you want to put on each blank style. So thinking about creativity, can't really do fall spirit without bling. Right. So I think we'll <laughs> kick it off with um, some newer styles of glitter items and how they can be incorporated into your fall spirit wear. So this is a hooded sweatshirt style from J America. It has a complete metallic glitter thread brought 100% throughout the garment. So this is bling big time when you're pairing it together with glitter or rhinestones or foil. It creates a really great garment. All right, and these glitter knit fabrics have always been a huge trend in cheer and dance wear, but we're starting to see it incorporated in fan apparel. So anybody in the stands that really wants to uh, have something that they're wearing be very um, bright and shiny. This is definitely a look that they're going to lean more towards. So I see this being a huge hit with uh, any ladies, fall fan wear, and then also our cheer and dance teams. And something that um, J America also did was a uh, jogger set so that we can pair these as a matching outfit. Yeah, and it creates a really nice, it's a um, sparkly bling effect, but mm -hmm. it's not overstated. So it makes right. a really great blank to kind of start with for these markets. Has that tapered pant leg that we like for a jogger. Um, it just creates, again, another fashionable, comfortable, mm -hmm. soft garment. And even the softness of these. So one of the challenges with um, glitter t-shirts and glitter fabrics in the beginning when they were introduced was that they felt a little itchy from the mm -hmm. glitter thread. Um, but the liner in these helps to avoid that as well. So it makes right. a really soft, nice garment. So definitely something I would absolutely incorporate mm -hmm. and mix 
different bling effects to create kind of ultimate glitter, ultimate bling style garments. Yeah, and for I the think fall. that and I think that would be like a really cool like warm up outfit for cheerleaders and dancers. So even whenever you're starting to think about uh, warm ups and things for them to even wear to practice, this is a good idea for that as yeah, well. Yeah, it's so different from what you see from the 100% polyester right. zip up jackets and stuff. It's just so unique compared to other decorators. Yeah. All right, so another trend, we see it every year, <laughs> but it's a new way to kind of go about it is the oversized shirt. I think we've been talking about oversized shirts now for maybe three years. This may be the fourth fall. Yeah. And the blanks just continue to evolve. We start to see different ways they're being used, but still a very popular trend um, and kind of this oversized, baggy, comfortable fit garments. Mm -hmm. I like how Boxer crafted this because it was a garment dyed, so it made it a little more softer. So even though it is that 100% uh, cotton, it's still feeling very lightweight and not as heavy as the other ones were prior to. Uh, and then I like how they keep me, how they're keeping this oversized um, trend innovative. So they uh, instead of having that middle seam, they raised it to kind of reach that vintage jersey style t-shirt, which we'll be getting into shortly. They added uh, the, the the stripe on the side. And then, of course, they kept the large area on the back where you can still put a large print. Yeah, and these are available in youth and adult sizes. Right. So gives you the option to offer this um, throughout elementary school all the way up through high school for mm -hmm. spirit wear trends. So a great overall piece. I really like the vintage style in this because it gives too. you that kind of distressed look. I see, you know, often opportunities for big bold prints on mm -hmm. the front of here still for fan wear. So nice style from Boxer Craft there was that one. Right, and then we also have um, J America doing it once again. So uh, they were known for the, their billboard tees, and they're staying innovative as well uh, on the same boat there as Boxer Craft, but they're doing a hoodie style. Uh, so this fits not only uh, that women's market, but also men's market. So I see this as being a very um, like top seller for men's this fall. Yeah, it's incredibly lightweight too. And so mm -hmm. that's one of the nice things about this hooded sweatshirt is it's still really light. So you can wear it early fall as well as later into the fall season underneath maybe a jacket or something. So it's kind of a great all-purpose piece. Right. And I do see this as a profit opportunity for a lot of decorators because there's still so many print areas. So you still have uh, all those print areas you had before with the oversized t-shirt, but now you have something extra uh, by adding some additional personalization to the hood. Yeah, so a great kind of all-purpose unisex billboard crew type shirt right. there. And with the box, the boxer craft oversized uh, shirt there, when we were talking about that vintage jersey style, that kind of brings us into that game day jersey trend. Yeah, there's a few different styles of game day jerseys. Um, most importantly, what you're looking for really is this athletic striping on the mm -hmm. sleeves. That's what I think we're seeing a lot of, and it creates the illusion of an athletic jersey right. because that's one of the um, more telling features of an athletic garment. Right, and then of course they also incorporated that high seam too that you see on a lot of those uh, game day jersey styles. Yep. So I like that they did this because those game day uh, t-shirts or those, or not t-shirts, but jerseys or those spirit jerseys that were 100% poly mesh, they were boxy, they weren't, uh, they didn't have as much as a, of a comfortable fit as a t-shirt would. So I like that they made it into a t-shirt style so you can still get that look but still be very comfortable. Yeah, it's very soft, very um, slim fitting, so it's a very nice fitted garment, especially for ladies. Um, and then this one is from Pennant Sportswear. The other one is also from Pennant Sportswear that we're looking at here. It just creates more of a vintage, heathered look, which we know is incredibly popular for garments. Mm -hmm. um, so it does the same contrast sleeves, creates a nice athletic look. This works great for men's or ladies' apparel, but another great option for fan jerseys. Nice, simple front and back um, canvas for personalization and for adding printing. It's very easy, but this really adds that stylish, athletic right. element to it. So really just takes it to a whole new level. Right, and then uh, boxer crafts. So you can see behind me here uh, the game day jersey here with uh, Panthers Nation on it. It is from Boxer Craft, and what they did was recreated that game day jersey with the mesh in there, but did it as a spandex mesh, 
mesh as opposed to a polyester mesh. So that made it more uh, lightweight and more of just a relaxed feel and fit. Yeah, just like we see with all the, the blank apparel today, we're seeing even game day jerseys adding different fabrics. So mm -hmm. spandex, they're adding more cotton, they may be adding more rayon. Um, just things that continue to use the athletic elements that make them, um, like this boxer craft jersey that still has the athletic piping on the sleeve, still has the mesh holes, but just creates more of a soft, comfortable feel that people want today in their blank apparel. So it's a great one from Boxer Craft 2 for adding that name and numbering and some personalization. Yes, definitely. So then also, Rabbit Skins is incorporating that into their children's apparel. So uh, one thing that Rabbit Skins does well is their onesies and their toddler's t-shirts. So they are actually incorporating that piping on the sleeves and that high uh, seam line there. So they're doing it for toddler t-shirts and also for onesies. Yeah, so this is kind of the idea is when you start to build your ultimate fan wear package for people, mm -hmm. you want to incorporate everything. So you got to think about the demographics of the people that are buying spirit wear. Right. It's not just the people with the school. Well, that's a large demographic is that um, teenage millennial audience. But you're also selling to parents, to brothers, to sisters, um, aunts, uncles, grandparents. I mean, every single one of them are going to be coming to the sporting events and they're there cheering on their children. And so if you're creating a package, you want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to celebrate. So I can take that fan jersey style and offer personalization for maybe a, a family member or just for the school and take it all the way through all of the family members. So that's a great way to present the package, I think, to um, customers. Right. And then another option uh, that is very athletic for children's apparel is this Cavio onesie. So Cavio, in my opinion, is just really known for those unique garments uh, for children's apparel. And not just children's apparel, they go through juniors uh, and then also ladies style garments. So uh, this is a really unique one. To me, it's kind of a faux hoodie styled onesie because it has that athletic pocket in the front and then that athletic uh, gray. Yeah, fun and trendy. I can easily see some personalization for a school on the front of something like that mm -hmm. for a youngin to uh, take to the football game with them. So nice and fun there for that, just even for um, some early football games or anything else throughout the year. Um, that walks or walks us more into thinking about color blocking because that athletic striping kind of creates that color mm -hmm. block effect. We saw it on the Make It Monday yes. garment that you had showcased earlier today. Color blocking is still huge. It's perfect for adding personalization because it, it like it literally lends you to selecting a color for the garment that just creates that um, eye-catching look. So your eye automatically starts to draw to the colors on the garment. We saw that with the red shirt when you added that red decoration. Mm -hmm. It immediately just pulled your eyes towards that school logo and made it pop. And so this is a, another color block sweatshirt also from Pennant Sportswear. Um, has the color blocking contrasting hemline as well as the cuffs that we see here on the sleeves. We were able to pair that when we printed it um, or when you printed it in the class with the premium plus which that matte finish really mm -hmm. lended well to the coloring of this and then even inside the hood it adds that matching color so it just pulls that navy out in so many different places and creates a really fashionable piece. Yeah, Pennant did this very well. I really like how they incorporated two trends so we have that heather texture in there and then also the color blocking. So not only do they do that with hoodies but also with sweatpants that they're offering for this fall. So this is fairly new uh, to Pennant's um, line for this fall. They have the color blocking on the waistband and also uh, for the strings and then this back pocket as well. So that's always something that you can incorporate even if you're pairing a hoodie and sweatpants together. You can never go wrong with trying to create an outfit for your customers. Yeah, you definitely should be showing outfitting and I think we shared this a few weeks ago on the morning show but even in your showrooms or in your sales pieces and your mm -hmm. flyers, you should always present more than just the top. So being able to package these items together and showcasing them as an outfit makes you think you have to buy them because all oh, those pants absolutely go with that hooded right. sweatshirt. I'm not just piecing things together. Same thing with the glitter shirt that we showed earlier. Absolutely. And then, um, so the hoodie that I printed for Make It Monday uh, is also a cavio. So this is kind of a t-shirt or raglan style uh, to the hoodie that we pressed earlier. Uh, it has that color blocking raglan sleeves that meets that neckline and then also drops down into a v-neck. 
Yeah, I think this really brings style into the garment. And so mm -hmm. no matter what decoration you put on here, this makes the garment alone a fashionable piece because it's um, taking that hem or taking the seam line of the shoulders and making it part of the style. This is also a 60-40 um, blend, so it's incredibly easy to decorate. I consider this, it's super soft, so it feels to me like a tri blend. Tri -blend yeah. I actually had to double check <laughs> before the morning show to make sure it was just 60-40. But when we've printed them, we haven't seen any issues with um, heat sensitivity where you see that a lot with those soft garment. So when you're looking for an all-purpose garment to do screen printed transfers on or any kind of CAD cut and you're worried about maybe a heat sensitive garment, this gives you a fashionable heathered soft garment um, to be able to print even at any temperature at the heat press. So I love this one from Cavio. I do too. And contrary to two solid colors on one garment, we have patterns in print. So that's actually incorporating few different colors into uh, your shirt selections and styles for this fall. So we have the classic camo um, that has gone in and out of style throughout the years, but for this fall, we're seeing it being a huge trend. So of course, since this is a patterned t-shirt, you would want to go with more of just a one color solid print on the front of this. Yeah, when I look at printing something like this, I think it could be really popular for um, a lot of local schools. And you don't really think about camo because maybe you're decorating for the Albert Gallatin Colonials and yeah. their school mascot has nothing to do with camo. But the blank is so trendy and popular, I could easily put a one color black or white mm -hmm. um, image on here with the school logo and it just makes it a different type of fan apparel. It doesn't always have to be the colors of the school and that's something I would always remember when I'm choosing pattern blanks like this. Yeah, absolutely. You can never go wrong with that. And then of course, uh, stars have been popular for a few years now. So this is still in style and um, alternative apparel uh, purchased through Sanmar is doing this really well. They're always coming out with trendy garments, whether it's a raglan and the sleeves are stars and then you have the solid shirt. So you're not directly printing right over top of a pattern, uh, but this is another way to do patterns as well. Yes. These garments from Alternative with the camo and this one are so incredibly mm -hmm. soft. They're a tri-blend, so they're polyester, cotton, and rayon. Um, the high level of poly and rayon make them super soft and comfortable. Also gives them a nice feel, so it kind of drapes well on the wearer. Um, so it's a really great blank if you're looking for something that's a bit more high end to really, mm -hmm. um, if you're going to a school and you want to be able to put your foot forward as the, the next level or the high margin type um, really nice garment. So I love this one. Yeah, and I think that the flannel that Sanmar offers now too uh, with Port Authority is doing that well, giving you uh, the option to offer more higher end um, garments and uh, adding that into your selection. So this is actually a flannel tunic and it's perfect for the ladies who like wearing their leggings and their boots and just pairing something trendy and cute right over top of that while you're still uh, looking um, very collegiate but also very comfortable as well. Yeah, one thing we're seeing I think a lot, we've seen it over the years in professional and collegiate mm -hmm. sports, um, is where a lot of women want fashion over um, school designation and right. so they're not really worried about getting something with a school logo on it they just want something that's fashionable and mm -hmm. so we see a lot of ladies going to retail stores and buying things that are just simply in the school colors and so maybe it's in black and white and you maybe have a red accent or something because the right. school's colors are black red and white um, and so there's a big opportunity with the school apparel for colleges or high schools where you can start to offer customization on items mm -hmm. like this. So this looks like something you would get in a high-end boutique. Absolutely. I can easily add either embroidery or heat transfer application maybe on the um, bottom of the shirt here since it's going to be worn as a tunic or I can do a left chest logo or prints on the back. I can really get creative with where I'm going to print this um, but create something that's a little bit more fashion forward that still is um, supporting the team in the school. Right, and since we were talking about outfitting, as I mentioned, uh, a lot of ladies are wearing these, these tunic styled flannels with leggings. You can always uh, just go a step further and print those leggings as well for extra personalization or even a scarf to pair with it. Yeah, if you're going to go with leggings and you want to do some personalization, um, I would take a look at a high stretch heat transfer, so something like Cat Cut Premium Plus mm -hmm. that can be cut on a vinyl cutter allows you to go to some of those spandex stretch pant legs and being able to add a simple logo or school name on the bottom there, so good opportunity with that. Definitely. All right, so next we have outerwear. So if you are not selling outerwear as part of your 
fall spirit wear packages, you are leaving money on the table because everybody, once it gets cold, especially here, we're in yes. Pennsylvania. And so by the time October hits, everybody's outfitted in jackets. Now, when they start the season, they're all wearing t-shirts and tank tops. So being able to offer the full line just mm -hmm. opens you up to a lot of opportunity um, in different areas. So we're going to start light and work it to a little bit heavier style outerwear to show you what's available. Um, and so this one is a light style um, quarter zip from Sanmar. It's part of the Sport Tech line. Again, we're seeing color block as well as that textured heather effect that we've been seeing this year throughout garments. Yeah, and I like this heather that they uh, have in this garment because it's an electric heather. It, it pops a little more than your vintage heather does. So being able to incorporate that, it's even being seen in um, large retail stores like Adidas or Nike, this uh, electric Heather. So being able to incorporate that into your business because people are seeing it in retail, it's going to make them want to buy it. Yeah, yeah it definitely looks like what we're seeing a lot um, from the Nike and Under Armour type stores with this look. Um, this again is really lightweight, it's 100% polyester performance wear. So if I'm somewhere south, maybe where it's warm, it doesn't get incredibly cold throughout my football or my fall sports seasons, then I would probably go with a style like this for my outerwear. If you're somewhere where it's going to get a little bit cooler and maybe you're doing sport jackets for coaches or for um, equipment managers or anybody, this one actually is more fleece lined. Again, similar, it's almost a flip version of what we just right. saw in the sport tech garment. So um, it has the heathered color blocking actually this direction down the side instead of it being a solid panel in the color block and then the full color here which makes it actually really easy for personalization because it's easier to put a uh, um, pattern print or something that's a little bit more detailed on a solid than it is a texture where it's not going to show up quite as nicely. Um, so this one again is fleece line so it's a little bit heavier weight, has some really nice reflective elements on the sleeves and in different areas so just a really great overall um, quarter zip as well for that. All right, and then lastly, we're going to go heavyweight, and this is actually an OGO performance. So this is um, something I would highly recommend if you're looking to offer more of a high-end, um, a little bit more heavy. It's actually a lightweight jacket, but something that's a little bit warmer. It's super fitted, has some great um, some seams, great seams yeah. throughout here, some different padding, and just it kind of makes it look like almost like a bomber jacket style, right, yeah. where it just creates a really nice tapered look throughout the front and the back with that V um, there. And so we love this jacket from OGO. It's really great, I think, for if you're selling to schools and you want something for like coaches or for um, people working the sidelines, maybe equipment managers or um, assistants of any kind there, even just for a nicer, higher end garment. So if you're selling to schools that um, maybe are a little bit more prestigious, then they maybe have a higher budget for their um, athletic apparel, then I would definitely offer things like this in the line because it's a great way to make high profits and to do it very easily with heat printing or embroidery. Right. And it's that soft shell fabric. So it definitely is going to keep them warm, but it's going to be lightweight enough where they're not uncomfortable and feeling like they can't move. <laughs> right, yeah, definitely. So it's a great, definitely a great jacket there for layering. Um, and then sticking with some other jackets and just looking more at styles for um, kind of more of the old school trend that we see. This is going to be two options here for that. So this one from Cabio is actually a um, really great jacket that offers some contrast piping. And so this one has um, some ribbed on the sides. It really looks old, old school almost. Yeah, I like how they kept that uh, ribbed uh, fabric on the side and also on the side of this pocket as well and even down um, on the cuffs of the sleeves and uh, the bottom part of this. But it really like lends to that uh, throwback or old school trend where Champion used to do uh, styles of garments like this. So being able to incorporate that is going to be huge since that is really coming back into fan wear. Yeah, so great option there. It has the contrast piping even throughout the bottom here. It just kind of creates a really cool throwback look, very fashionable. Your eyes are really just drawn to that piping. And so that one's great there. And then the, the bomber jacket's really neat jacket as well that's recently been launched by Bella Canvas. Yeah, and I'm convinced that these things are in style because of the starter jacket. So we talked about that uh, probably one of the first... Um, morning shows that we did were the starter jackets, but this kind of has that same material. It's a nylon, uh, but still easy to print on with Gorilla Grip or any of our CAD color materials, such as uh, the tech line that we offer. 
uh, but it's that really lightweight and baggy style jacket that people really like. It's being seen a lot in retail, so of course, being able to incorporate anything that your customers are seeing in retail is going to be a good fit for an apparel decorator. Yeah, this, this style of bomber jacket is really popular right now with the uh, millennial audience, and it's mm -hmm. only available in two colors from Bella Canvas, but black is one of them, and I think it works as a really great base for most schools because you can start with a solid base like that and a lot of, um, and add the school colors and really make it still a spirit friendly kind of garment. Right. And we also are seeing um, some really unique trends in uh, athletic wear. So this was decorated in the fall fan wear uh, class as well. So this has a mesh front neckline with a little opening here. So this is very unique, but it's again, something see being seen in retail. So apparel manufacturers are thinking of that whenever they're making uh, blanks for their apparel decorators. So they have that open mesh neckline and then of course the racer back, which is a huge trend still uh, in athletic wear. So this would be perfect for uh, cheerleaders who are going through uh, their camps and whatnot just offering something that is very professional looking. Yeah, it's super sporty as well because we're able to pair, anytime you can pair some of that mesh, which automatically makes you think sports and athletic mm -hmm. apparel with maybe a cotton or a polyester or something that's a little bit more solid fabric, it just creates a really cool, um, almost sporty and fashion look that's just really popular right now. And the neckline to me is one of the really highlighted pieces of this. It just creates something so stylish and really out of the box from what we've seen from any other apparel decorator for blank garments especially. Right, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. And then of course we have the short sleeve hoodie which is popular in not only men's but also women's apparel. So there are lady styles, but the one you're seeing uh, to the right of me is a men's style from Pennant. Uh, which is just kind of a unique way of offering that hoodie style because it still has uh, that basic um, front pocket and then the hood, but just no sleeves. <laughs> yeah, and so we see a lot of people offering that even as a layered piece so they can wear yes. it without the sleeves or offering a, a long sleeve or staging it in your showroom with a long sleeve shirt underneath that maybe has personalization down the sleeves mm -hmm. and pairing the two together, which then of course gets you two cells and two printed items <laughs> instead of one. So that's another good opportunity for definitely showing that look in your showroom and on your sales flyers um, for something like that. Outfitting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're back to outfitting for sure. Always find things that go together. Right. And then uh, fashion forward hoodie style. So that's one of them. But we also have a couple from Cavio that are really unique that we really wanted to show you because this is perfect uh, for that um, ladies fan wear. So it has the um, high low uh, hemline on the bottom. So high in the front, low in the back. And then, of course, the um, inside seam of the hood is a different color. So it's a contrast color and uh, definitely seeing that being very popular. Yes, that's a standard hooded version there um, with a contrast line hood. And then this one is actually a wide scoop neck version. So this sweatshirt um, actually has kind of a really um, almost vintage worn look to the mm -hmm. way the seams are done. So it's kind of tattered at the bottom and kind of um, just a really unique hemline. Again, we have the same high-low where it's high in the front, low in the back. Even the sleeves, everything brought throughout this has that kind of tattered look. So it makes it a really cool and worn look. Um, both of these are from Cavio. And I like that these are both um, ash gray or heather because I think there's a lot of opportunity to taking a solid blank like a gray. So it's either a charcoal dark gray or a light gray like this. Um, and then making the personalization part the school colors because then you can stock a ton of these and sell to multiple schools with the right. exact same blank. You don't have to worry about ordering, you know, 25 red and 50 blue and keeping them for separate schools. You can do one and just make the personalization where you're swapping it out. It helps to keep with inventory and ordering garments. And then the last hooded sweatshirt we wanted to talk about um, is one that's actually my favorite. So I feel like we saved the best for last. We did. Um, mm -hmm. And it is actually right behind me directly. It is this Panthers football hooded sweatshirt. So this one really follows what we see in the um, trends from Nike Under Armour, what we're seeing in retail, because it has that textured heathered finish. It's got contrast piping um, in the sleeves. So I'll kind of slide over so you guys can see it there a little bit behind me, but it has um, contrast piping down at the bottom as well as on the hood, and then that scuba neck headline, uh, or uh, neckline as well is really popular. Yeah, so it's a scuba neck, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like a turtleneck. It comes up high, 
but not too tight around your neck, so it's still very comfortable fitting, but just uh, lends a little more to the hoodie style, just adding a little extra to it. And then also, uh, not only do we have piping around the pocket there, but also the cuffs of the sleeves and then the strings to match. So color blocking yeah. is in there as well. So. so we're still seeing the same thing every year. Um, color blocking, we're seeing heathered fabrics, we're seeing um, game day jerseys, we're seeing poly mesh athletic stuff. So piping, the piping yeah. that's really what we're seeing a lot coming up on the fall trend. So a lot to look forward to. Um, all of these styles are available from different black apparel suppliers that we've shown you throughout the show. Cavio, Pennant Sportswear, CNMAR, Boxer Craft, Bella Canvas. We appreciate um, their feedback and sharing some of these trends and what they're seeing in blank apparel. So here's what's going on in the Stalls TV Morning Show. Next week is actually our 100th episode, so we're excited. Um, we've made it 100 episodes so far. We appreciate you guys tuning in to us every week, sharing ideas, helping keeping things afloat. We look forward to coming on for 100 more episodes. Um, and so we're going to have giveaways and share some um, different tips and practices in that episode. And then we'll follow up the following week with part two of your design trends for fall spirit wear. So we look forward to seeing you guys here live um, within the next two weeks and beyond. We'll see you then. See ya.